Good morning. Hey, it's Wednesday, August 5th, 2020. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pastor Joanna Gregg, and this is Mount Horeb Lutheran Church coming to you with daily devotions as we um, open the scripture and dwell on the word together and the living word together. Um, we are blessed to have this day and this way of doing these things. So, like I said, thanks for joining us. We're going to look at a familiar story, Matthew 15. So if you have your Bible, open it up. If not, you can still open your mind and your heart to hearing a new word in a new way or an old word in a new way. Um, see what jumps out to you. See what and hear what God might be saying to you um, in your specific day and circumstance and what might God be saying to us as a people of God in this community at Mount Horeb. So, like I said, it's familiar. Matthew 15 verses 32 through 39. The feeding of the 4,000. Now if you have your Bible open, remember that this is the second um, feeding of the thousands in um, just a chapter's time. Um, chapter 14, verse 13, is the feeding of the 5,000. So if you didn't know, now you do. So I lost my place. So Matthew 15, verse 32 through 39, there you are. Feeding of the 4,000. <clears> Hear these words. Then Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion for the crowd because they have been with me now for three days and I have nothing to, and have nothing to eat. And I do not want to send them away hungry for they may faint on the way. The disciples said to him, where are we to get enough bread in the desert, desert to feed a great crowd? Jesus asked them, how many loaves do you have? And they said, seven and a few small fish. Then, ordering the crowd to sit down on the ground, he took the seven loaves and the fish, and after giving thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the crowds, and all of them ate and were filled. And they took the broken pieces that were left over, seven baskets full. Those who had eaten were 4,000 men, besides women and children. After sending away the crowds, he got into the boat and went to the region of Magadan. The word of the Lord for the people of God. Thanks be to God. So what jumped out at you today? I can tell you what jumps out at me with each time that we hear or read this. And it's the verse 38, the besides women and children. Um, it kind of seems like a, a parentheses moment. Oh, there are 4,000 men. And, oh yeah, there were also women and children. And, you know, it's hard as a woman not to not to think about it, first of all, but, but kind of not to be offended at it. And um, working through it myself just for the, you know, just for a minute, I thought, oh, well, you know, that's how they counted families. And... Um, that's just, that was just kind of like a census way of counting families. And then I thought, well, they usually would not count women and children, but here they mentioned it. They mentioned women and children because who was important in Jesus's ministry? Just men? No. Men, women, and children. And thinking back to all who have been healed and all who have been um, in the mix in the, in the gospel, it is not exclusively men. And uh, that is the good news for us today, that men, women, and children are um, seen as God's chosen, as God's children. So thanks be to God for that. The um, devotion for today mentioned how um, 
growing up, the person who who wrote the devotion says that did, they didn't have women pastors in their congregation growing up, but they joined a church that um, welcomed all to help and to serve and to lead the congregation, which was a change for this person. And we all have that sort of, we have to wrestle with our own understanding of what um, gender roles are present and expected of, of society and who we are and how that is different, how Jesus calls us, not even though, but, but in our full identity. So um, that's that is the good news I hear today. Because as we keep coming back to the inclusive nature of God, of Jesus's ministry in pointing to God is that all are welcome and that compassion and love and God have no limits. So thanks be to God again. And I invite you to, to go back and read and hear um, Matthew's gospel. There's uh, the Canaanite woman's faith is before this feeding of the 4,000. And then the, um, yeah, just look at chapter 14 and 15 for fun if you have time. Uh, Cause that woman, that the woman who Jesus just talked to, she is pretty intelligent, very intelligent, and uh, uses logic to get around Jesus's um, questioning of her. So that was um, chapter 15, yeah, right before it. Okay, so I've talked too much. Thanks for joining us. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for the gifts of who we are in our childlike nature, in our womanliness and our manliness. We are yours and we um, are counted as yours. We give you thanks for all of these things, for the people who are with us today, who are hearing us um, and joining us and dwelling in your word. Thank you for each of our gifts and for seeing us for who we are. It is in your name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you on Friday.